What just happened? New York Giants, Detroit Lions, joint practice, day one, training camp day 10, and total of the open training camp dates, all of that being said. That was crazy. I mean, it's been an hour since I've been home now, and I still don't really understand what just happened. The electricity, the energy, it was insane. Giants fans, Lions fans showed up, showed out, and the players, they did the same. Coming from a practice yesterday on Sunday where I don't even know how boring, if boring is even a word to describe it, an hour split between half hour of special teams and half hour, half hour of walkthroughs, excuse me. That was crazy in comparison to today. The pads were on. O-line, D-line one-on-ones happened. Offense was on one side. Defense was on one side. Red zone drills, fights, picks, fumbles. All of the above occurred. And we're going to recap it right now. Let's start out with the fights. Um, I'm going to put our big clip that was out, you know, going on here. I, I'm trying to get as many videos as I can also from some other sources as well that I will obviously put in this video and, and tag them as well. Um, there's at least five fights slash like skirmishes that occurred today at Giants versus Lions training camp. The biggest one involving Amon Ross St. Brown catching a pass from Jared Goff during team drills. That ball was swiped out of his hand and then a fight emerged and it was a big one. There was also a fight with Daniel Jones getting involved, pushing a player off of uh, one of his guys. Greg Van Roten was at the bottom of that pile. There, that video uh, was captured really well, I believe, by Jordan Renan, who I'm going to put in this video, the ESPN reporter covering the Giants. So he had a good angle of that one. The Lions came into this practice, and it seemed like Dan Campbell even noted this in his press conference. He said, we're not going to shy away from fighting. Our players are going to fight. And then I think also something around like the third teamer shouldn't really fight because they're kind of fighting for a spot on the roster. Uh, but he fully gave permission to his team to do so. I think they were trying to play like we are the big dogs. We are, you know, we like to bully. And the Giants, they stood up to that and they said, absolutely not. We're not taking any of it. They were ready for the challenge. They accepted the challenge. And I'm going to say it. They exceeded many expectations with that challenge, shoring above and beyond what was expected. We saw picks by Bobby O'Karake today. We saw deep passes to Malik Neighbors and Jalen Hyatt. This is something I want to get into as well because the Giants, it's something that we haven't seen in a while, and that's what I'm going to talk about right now. So first thing I want to mention, I did not get a good look of the Giants offense until the very end of the practice today during the red zone drills because that was on our field. So when I say our field, the fans are kind of located behind in these bleachers. In front of them is a field, and then there's a field past that. The Giants defense played against the Lions offense on that field on the near side of us. On the far side was where the Giants offense played in 11-on-11s throughout most of the day. So I wasn't really able to see besides what you probably saw on Twitter of the clips. But here's the thing. Every time I did look to the far side, the ball was in the air traveling you know, 40, 50, 30 yards downfield. The Giants were throwing. Daniel Jones was throwing deep to his guys. He completed a really nice throw to uh, um, to Malik Neighbors, excuse me, which uh, the referee there ruled it was out of bounds. Seemed like it was a catch if you kind of zoom in on there or look at the slow-mo video. You have uh, another deep throw to Jalen Hyatt. It wasn't a touchdown, but it was a deep throw. Daniel Jones, every three or four plays, when I looked down that, the other side of that field, you saw Daniel Jones throwing deep, which is something we saw a couple of weeks ago with the New York Giants. They were throwing deep to begin training camp. They kind of leaned away from that for the past week for whatever reason. They then went back to it against an opposing team, which really shows encouraging signs because against their own team, okay, maybe they're not throwing deep. But when they're playing against the Lions, an opposing team, and not their own squad, their own defenders, it looks good for the season. It looks like we're going to see an explosive offense, hopefully, and with the weapons like Jalen Hyatt, like Malik Neighbors, these speedsters on the team. Daniel Jones might not be used to throwing to players that go that fast, but as long as he adjusts, and this is the time to adjust when you're playing a team right now in training camp practices when the throws really don't mean anything more than just practice, that's the time they get the reps in. Um, let's see what else we got here. The Giants defensive line. They did offensive line one-on-ones against the Giant, uh, the Lions O-line, excuse me. Brian Burns won basically every rep. That guy had a clean day today. He looked really good. He was actually pumping the crowd up after the first fight uh, that included that, um, you know, the Amon Ross St. Brown fight. Kayvon Thibodeau did okay. I think I have a couple clips that I recorded of him. Um, he, he did fine. A couple of guys, you know, Ryder Anderson was getting in there. 
Uh, I'm trying to think who else was practicing, but just so much happened today that uh, I, I can't even remember. Um, and then, yeah, practice ended with those end zone reps for the Giants and Lions, offenses and defenses. They wrote it to, uh, rotated through their first, second, and third teams. Nothing super notable except another little fight slash skirmish where Daniel Jones rolled out. He found Malik Neighbors for what looked like to be something around the goal line if it, not, if it wasn't in the end zone. A Lions player, whoever tackled him, kind of stayed on top of Malik Neighbors for a little too long to uh, Illuminor. He then gave him a little shove off of Neighbors. Besides that, the red zone reps looked okay. Um, what I will say is that, again, with Tommy DeVito and with um, Drew Locke, it really shows that they are the backup quarterbacks of this team. Daniel Jones looked pretty good, although they were running it a lot. And that's another thing, sorry, that I didn't mention, is that Tyrone Tracy was getting first-team reps, um, and he really looks like to have already solidified this spot. as a Obviously, it's still somewhat early, but at this point, it looks like he is going to be the backup running back behind Devin Singletary uh, for the New York Giants. Nick McLeod and Andrew Phillips, they were hyped up. I should have mentioned this during the fight. They were really getting involved in these fights. They looked electric today. Nick McLeod getting some plays on the ball that I haven't seen so far in training camp. So that was super cool to see. And obviously the Giants rookie, Andrew Phillips, who really just came back somewhat recently within the last few days from an injury last week. Um, he's really been, uh, you know, been um, getting involved today, at least. And here's the thing. We got one more day to go. It's bittersweet, but we're going to be there tomorrow. We're going to get all the coverage and content for you. And if today involved that, but you know, that many fights, who knows what tomorrow is going to bring before the Giants' first preseason game against the Detroit Lions on Thursday. If you watch this far, I appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Obviously, if you haven't already, I'm sure you have. But follow those socials at the Giant Take Pod, especially our Twitter account, uh, where we're giving you so much coverage of Giants training camp. One more day to go again. It sucks, but I appreciate it if you've been with us this far. If you joined the Giant Take through this training camp experience, thanks so much. And obviously stay tuned. This is just training camp. We have episodes. We have uh, YouTube videos throughout the Giants season um, in the regular season. So thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.